going on guys in this video we are going to see an example of cascaded op amplifiers here we are trying to find out this v out voltage now in this kind of problem what we can do is we can separate this one into two parts like i can separate this part alone and then calculate the v out here and then again i can separate this part alone and then calculate the v out again okay so now let's take this part and here we have this one now let's redraw this one again we are going to have this voltage source that is 2 voltage and uh, here we have 10 ohm resistor and uh, we have op amplifier minus plus and we have five res 5 ohm resistor and that is connected like this and also we have 10 ohm resistor connected to the ground so we can connect these two together make it one like this okay so this is our first circuit and here we have 2 voltage 10 voltage 5 voltage and this pattern so when you have a pattern like this this is called inverting amplifier so when you have inverting amplifier you can calculate this v out this is our v out we can calculate this v out using this formula we have to put a negative negative this value comes on top so we have to put 5 on top and this value comes in the bottom that is 10 5 over 10 multiplied by the voltage source that is 2 so this one multiplied by 2 half times 2 that's going to be 1 and this negative remains that's going to be negative 1 so we are going to get negative 1 for voltage now let's draw this part now we have found out this voltage V out and that's going to be the voltage right here for this one this is going to be the voltage source so negative 1 voltage and then we are going to have this 1k resistor and after that we have this op amplifier that is minus plus and we have 2k resistor 2k and then again we have v out and uh, then this one connected to the ground and then this is like this okay now again this pattern is again it's a inverting or inverting amplifier when you have inverting amplifier you can calculate the v out using same formula like v out is going to be okay v out is going to be minus this one over this this is 2k over 1k multiplied by the voltage source in our case our voltage source is negative 1 and if you multiply these two minus minus become plus and here we are going to have kk cancels we will get 2 voltage so the final v out is going to be 2 voltage and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching